I watch our, uh, Russ's streams a lot. Alright. Here we are with Palisade Gardens by Alex. This was, I'm pretty sure, his... Uh, what was it? The Reddit contest submission that he submitted? It got a bronze, so I'm going to review it. I'm probably only going to review parks that get accolades. That's probably how it's going to turn out. But yeah, this is Palisade Gardens. Small little park. Uh, NCSO. It's really cool. It's built on a... Um, I don't know if there's hacks in it. Yeah, there's definitely... It's definitely hacked. Okay. Um, it was built on a scenario built... I'm not sure who built the scenario, but... A pre-built scenario with... Um, a bunch of contestants using the same one. I think Stokesy or Stoxy, stop. I never get his name right. Did one. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Anyways, yeah, this is Palisade Gardens, and let's start out with the entrance. I suppose it's a nice little quaint park. Uh, it's. It's like, it feels like one of those old neighborhood parks, like, it feels like a, not really like a Coney Island, but, uh, one of the old vendor parks, you know, like Coney Island. Uh, but yeah, here, it, there's not much of an entrance, I guess, so I'm not really gonna spend too much time there. Uh, I like how he used, uh, there's a lot of good... Um, what am I trying to say? There's a lot of u good use of, uh, like the pre object, like the pre built objects. Like, for example, this town hall here. He has two of them right here that are also incorporated in the rest of the rest of this uh, building, and that's what NCSO is really all about: uh, being innovative and. Not necessarily making it look perfect, but being in an innovative to the point where the idea gets across. So, like, if I wanted to, uh, what's a good example of this? Oh, like a lot of um, shotguns works work. Uh, he, he does a lot of that where he uses objects you wouldn't normally see or use. Like uh, in his latest screen he used uh, this Medusa sign as a wall on the back, right? A lot of stuff like that. You just need to be innovative to really do well with RCT and, or uh, NCSO, sorry. And be able to hack. That's another thing. Hacking is key. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of this park. Back to here now that I'm done with my little rant. I wasn't a huge fan of the park. Um, I think there were some cool qualities to it. Uh, I wasn't a fan of this station here. I think it was a bit repetitive and bland. Uh, not station, sorry. It's definitely a Dodgems that isn't open. This one is. That one isn't. It's two dodgems put together. Was not a fan of that. It just looks a little, a little weird. I think. Uh, I think he could have done better with this building here. A little. It's kind of weird. This is really repetitive, and then it goes into like really random. A lot of randomness. Like it's random yet uniform like eat both sides are kind of mirroring each other yeah I don't know uh, let's see what what's next yeah like I said there's not too much to really review about this park because he only made it keep in mind he, he didn't have a lot of time for this park it was a lot like survivor and the fact that you had three days I don't know how many days he had to build it but the fact that he built some built something like this is really cool really good um I love the wooden coaster it reminds me a lot of 
Koops's, or not Koops, I forget, Lewis. Lewis built the wooden coaster in Baker Lake. It reminds me a lot of that. I think he definitely, it definitely looked like he took cues from that. Which Lewis took cues from other classic woodies. But anyways, cool stuff right here. I love the layout. Um, this is pretty cool. I like the <laughs> little Red Baron plane right there. That was pretty nice. Drop zone. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Drop zone. Like I said, not too much here. This layout is weird. <laughs> hmm. It's alright. I think. I think it could have been a little better. But for what he had to work with, it's it's fine. Um That's weird. This little bit right here, that's really weird. Like, it's like a regular wi wild mouse until you get here. <laughs> Spiral. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I like this. The crazy taxi at the gas stations. With the, it's the queue. That, that's pretty cool. It's a good idea. BBS doesn't work. What are you talking about? BBS. Ooh. I like these buildings. These couple of buildings right here look pretty, pretty neat. Uh, for what he had to work with, it's not too bad. I think with more time, he he definitely could have done a lot better. But for the time he had to work with, uh, and the uh, the ob the uh, yeah time and the space that he had to work with, he did a. A decent job and that's why I would probably give this park a 55 50 to 55 maybe a little bit in between there does it not yes it does it just did Yeah, it's not. This isn't a block break right here. It's just a break run. It's not. It's not block breaks. Ooh, which I have a complaint about. If I had to say, if I had to complain about anything, yeah, I, I definitely think that all coasters, if they have a break run like this, unless it's for pacing issues, and that's probably what this was. Let's let's watch it with with a break there. And see how. It'll slow down, and I bet the pacing of the rest of the ride would. will be a little. worse. Yes, yeah, so a working block brake system stops a train. That's why it's a block break. Yeah, see that would slow it down tremendously and come to this turn right here, it would just, eh, it's not that bad. In this case, I think he could have had the block break. Anyways, that's, that, that's besides the point. No big deal there. 55, that's my final answer for Palisade Gardens. Couple of nice little coasters. Small little park. Bronze, definitely. But yeah. Nice work, Alex. Please don't win any more monthly screens.